Honest to goodness, submarine. Honest to goodness, submersible. It would be hard to spend one night in here, let alone be stuck for months and months at sea. Welcome to the Something or Other Tour. Today we're in San Francisco, California, and we're gonna tour the USS Pampanito. The USS Pampanito is named after the Pampano fish or whatever. <laughs> this is a World War II era submarine, first launched in 1943. Since 1975, it's been docked here in San Francisco, and you can tour it. Let's check out some World War II history right here in San Francisco, California. And this is a companion episode. We also toured the Jeremiah O'Brien, a Liberty-class ship from World War II. That was in D-Day, so check out that other episode. Honest to goodness, World War II history here. Let's go. This thing's hardcore. I wouldn't even know where to begin how to shoot this. This is the type of anti-aircraft gun that would be on the Jeremiah O'Brien. This is a model of the Patrick Henry, also another Liberty class of ship. This is a restored 1943 Jeep that was transported on ships like the one we're going on today. The SS Jeremiah O'Brien. Submarine was made just in time for World War II to really ramp up. It was instrumental in that war. Real American World War II history right here. Still blows my mind that those things go underwater like that and then are able to come back up. Honest to goodness, submarine. We also did an episode over there at the Jeremiah O'Brien. Check that out, linked below. A long time ago, me and Cole did an episode at the San Diego Maritime Museum and we went on a Soviet sub. This bad boy is good old American, huh? We docking dog beaters, huh? If anyone knows, I'm pretty sure it's usually brass. These look like bunks up here, right above the torpedoes. I would not get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Fire. Fire them all. Yeah. Commode. Huh. No idea what all these gauges are. What do any of these mean? Huh? 
Hello? Really tight through here. Really tight. Shouldn't have had those extra donuts. Whoa, you can't really feel it swaying in the water. Whoa. This submarine was patrolling the waters during World War II. It's crazy. Oh, it's really swaying. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for the Red October. Huh? Nothing happened. Okay. No harm, no foul. There actually was an earthquake today in the East Bay. So who knows if these rocks and rolls are from an earthquake. This is amazing. Let's go. It's so weird being on something that's just completely linear. But then you look down below and there's actually a whole nother world down there. It's like, what's down there? Parts, more parts, and systems. brave men that were down here during World War II. Couldn't even imagine how uh, terrifying some of those nights must have been. That's too bad, I was gonna take a snooze. Could you imagine this? I can't even stand up right, right here. Any of our viewers and friends in the Navy now and been on a sub or a similar ship, are the quarters still like that? Please leave a comment, let us know, I'd like to know. Play some checkers or chess, mess hall. Pictures of the dames back home. Whoa. Now this is the hunt for Red October here.
I could do a Sean Connery accent, but I can't. Some serious stuff went down in here. It's tight through here. This is the officer's quarters. Still not very plush. Has some names of actual fellas that were here. C.K. Bartholomew. I goof and I gag, but definitely I'm appreciative and grateful for the sacrifices that the generations before me made, especially at times like World War II. Things are swaying. Oh, look at that gun. Yeah, when I first seen it, I was like, damn, dude, is that small? <laughs> you see these old ships and subs? There's so many nooks and crannies. I have no idea what they are. Crazy to think that this was underwater, fully submerged at some point. All right, that's the USS Pompanito. Check out our history playlist. We got a bunch of cool stuff like this. Of course, there's way more to this that we can't show everything. It would be like a three hour long video. So when you're in San Francisco, come check these out. Check out our Alcatraz videos too. We did a couple of those. They're really fun. Like, subscribe, share, do all the cool things cool kids do. They have a helpful diagram to help me figure it out, but I still, Gibberish to me. I have no idea. Did the robot on top of a bull and a cannon and on top of a submarine? I don't know if I did it. Uh, I can't get on the horn. <laughs>